Hey, what's up everybody? Video 44 coming at you another video. All right, so nothing too pressing on my mind. This is 4.30 in the morning, nothing serious. I think I went to sleep at like 11 and my body woke up naturally. But uh, yeah, I just had um, Lakers on my mind, believe it or not. I saw a few things that made me feel pretty good. Uh, first of all, the unselfishness of the young fella, Austin Reeves. See, uh, USA has kind of switched some things around, it reduced his touches, kind of put B.I. a little further in the lineup. I know B.I. had said that, you know, he was trying to find his way on the team, trying to find ways to contribute his minutes weren't there. And so they moved Austin around a little bit to try to fit B.I. in a bit better. And Austin was just talking about he don't care about any of that. He just wants to get gold. He could care less if, if it, you know, as long as they get gold on the way back to, to the U.S., that's what matters most to the team. And I just think that's the right mentality, uh, not only for the whole squad, but particularly for our young fella, Austin Reeves, man. He's going out there shining. His game is growing. You can see it. Step back, three-point shots, different types of plays on the defensive end. His athleticism is still popping. He looks like he's in his stride. And uh, I just really think he's doing a fantastic job along with, a job, along with the other uh, USA members. So, you know, just shout out to Austin, man. We're, we're super proud of you, young fella. Happy that you were able to get uh, your family in a, in a fantastic financial spot. And uh, we're just happy to have you, man. We appreciate the pay cut that you took because we know you probably could have got double. And, uh, you know, I think the Los Angeles Lakers are extremely blessed to have Austin Reeves on the team. Man. I really do. I've been a fan of his since day one. As soon as I've scouted him um, out of Oklahoma uh, upon the night we signed him, uh, I just knew that he was going to be able to contribute quite a bit with his size and his length and his ability to get others involved and just overall uh, intangible. He looked like he was a huge point guard, so I was very excited. But when he got here, he was more than that. He was a complete glue guy. He had like Lonzo Ball type energy in terms of making plays and keeping pace, getting on the defensive end, drawing fouls. He's just a fantastic fantastic basketball mind and I think his uh his future in basketball is going to go on for long past his career coaching or whatever else he wants to do he's a strategist on the basketball floor and I think he's it's going to be a, him and I've said this already say the first time I said this on camera but it's going to be the heart of Austin Reeves in my humble opinion that's going to get us our next championship ring and I know people are like, LeBron and AD on this team. And yes, they're going to carry the heavy load, but they're going to need a third. And assuming we don't make any kind of trades, in my humble opinion, the guy that I trust the most on this team after those two is Austin. It's most definitely Austin. Uh, so I'm, I'm super excited about him. I think the experience that he's getting um, in, in the USA team is huge for him. I think that the camaraderie that he's gaining with some of these players can really, really help our franchise in the future, assuming he's with us. Uh, some of these guys, Apollo Benchero, uh, Anthony Edwards, I think they're going to remember how much of a good time they had playing with one another. And I can see some of these guys teaming up in the future. And so hopefully they'll be here, man. I, I have uh, a great deal of, uh, a, I guess the word would be, I really like how they put together this roster. Uh, it, it's a good USA roster. They got all of the elements you need and it's not too overpowered uh, to just be blowing out everybody every night. We didn't bring our overly super talented guys, but we could brought guys that are going to be that tomorrow. You know what I mean? We brought our young guys who we expect to be all-stars tomorrow. <clears throat> and some of the ones who just started their careers as all-stars now. So Austin is a guy that a lot of people think probably, you know, would have been easily left off if they were trying to fill up the team with a bunch of great guys. But to be honest with you, they are superstars in this league that don't have the feel and cerebral intellect uh, for basketball that, that Austin has. And I'm saying that with, with a great deal of confidence. He's just smarter than a lot of dudes who may be more talented than him. But on top of that, he's adding things to his game, and he's got quite a bit of talent himself. So for me, he's like I said, he's worth double what, what we paid. I, I would have been upset if we had to pay him that just because I like having discounts and I want to keep my team as deep as possible. And I think he agrees, which is why he was able to sign that contract without any uh, without any concerns. I'm pretty sure he could have went to San Antonio. They would have been happy to give him his money. I'm sure he could have went to Houston. They would have been happy to pay him instead of Dylan Brooks. So there's just a lot of stuff going on there that, that would have allowed him options to be outside of L.A. But he came back at a price that we could really, really appreciate. 
and he's getting that off season, uh, you know, I, I was gonna say off season workout, but he's staying in game shape by playing with the Team USA. And so hopefully he's not exhausted, you know what I mean? Sometimes that can be the thing, but we have a lot of deep depth on our team, so I'm not really worried about that at all. But um, I, I just love the fact that he's able to get that in, in some summertime conditioning going uh, with, with Team USA. So the unselfishness of the young fella, his attitude, his humble nature, I mean, I'm telling you, man, we're lucky to have a guy. We really, really are lucky to have him. And I get it. The hype machine is surrounding him. They're following the path of the Caruso, and they're trying to stereotype him because he's Caucasian. But I'm telling you, this dude could be a, any color, anything he wants to be. It does not matter. When he steps on that court, he's a monster. He's an absolute monster. And you'd much rather have him on your team than not. So I'd say we're the lucky ones. So that's what I wanted to say right there, man. I'm a huge fan of Austin Reeves, and my appreciation for the young fella just continues to grow. And I think the Lakers are in good hands right now. I really do. Our future is going to be just fine. Okay, the next thing I want to get into uh, was Dodger Knight, because Dodger Knight was, was, was just spectacular, man. L.A. has so much going on right now with Beyonce in town at SoFi, and Dodger Stadium really, really showed out yesterday on my mom's birthday, and we were huge. she was a huge Kobe fan. Uh, you know, he he just was everything to our team. You know, we all still very much feel the pain of him not being with us anymore, man. But I tell you this, uh, it's it's so good to see his family still smiling and his kids is growing. They look just like him. Little Coco got his stare, man. She took his whole face. And uh, you just love to see it, man. Uh, you know, Nani throwing the pitch man and showing off the new Kobe shoes which look pretty good to me um, and and just Vanessa's continue to shine you know I, the strength of the lady you just gotta appreciate um, and and then Kobe, the, the little the middle one she was the one who was able to, to, to say uh, welcome to Dodger baseball and that was just wonderful to hear a little voice uh, you know what I mean and they hear the, the crowd cheer and then from there they had a, a light show in the sky where they were showing so much man that the artist who did that was phenomenal uh they showed the rings they they put the words mamba out uh they they superimposed him up there dunking the ball and then shooting the ball uh and st- several other steals as well in the sky just fantastic stuff man so where we are with technology for it's for for different types of things and what i was used to as a child and it's still an, kind of amazing to me to see where we're at with that but i just thought the dodgers really honored Kobe Bryant and the Bryant family in a very, very, very appreciative way. And uh, it was something that I really wanted to, to to just comment on and just say, yo, I'm not a baseball fan, but I do like the Dodgers. I didn't grow up a Dodger fan. I actually grew up a Yankee fan, but I came around to the Dodgers in the mid 2000s um, and, and have stuck around and, and appreciated the team from afar as a fan. Um, and I think blue now, you know, I really do. I, I didn't, I can't say I converted because I was never really a baseball fan. I just liked teams and jackets and stuff like that. It wasn't really me actually knowing what was going on. But I can tell you I've been to a couple of Dodger games and it's always been fun going. So if you ever get a chance to see a Dodger game in L.A., that's definitely something you want to do. But I can tell you, man, just, just overall, I just woke up this morning feeling really good about uh, how they did that. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I saw some footage of it last night. And then I saw Vanessa's footage, uh, the, the clips that she left on IG, which was much more plentiful of, of what was going on that night, last night. And so I just wanted everybody to know how much I appreciated that as a, as a Laker fan and a Kobe fan. Uh, you know, anytime we could celebrate the Black Mamba 24-8 and, of course, Gigi with number two, that's the way it got to be. So, man, uh, we miss him. We wish he was still here. And uh, we celebrate uh, his legacy as a Laker and as a father, for sure. So, yeah, that's where my mind is right now. I, I, I don't have any Laker news. Obviously, with what was last said, uh, we were talking about Trey Young rumors. That was the latest thing that they decided to release yesterday to keep us entertained. But I don't think anything is actually imminent. You guys can check out my last Laker video if you're interested in my opinion on that. Um, and I probably should relabel it because I talked a lot more about the Hawks than, than what the label would describe. So if you're only looking for Laker talk, you probably see me talk about the Hawks a little more in that, in that video than, than the Lakers. But nevertheless, 
Uh, the point was I was trying to assess whether it made sense for us to trade with them. And uh, I left my opinion there. But uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, the, the Los Angeles Lakers are definitely coming around very soon. This offseason is actually speeding by in some ways for me. I hope it feels the same way for you. And as soon as USA is all done, we'll blink a couple times and training camp will, right, will be right there. So hopefully we can just have a very healthy uh, end to the Team USA situation where all of our uh, players come back healthy. All of our guys, no matter where, what country they're playing for, we want our guys to come back healthy and uh, get back to the NBA season as, as planned. Uh, ready to compete and ultimately lose to the L.A. Lakers because that's exactly what I want to see all of them do. But, uh, yeah, man, just wanted to touch down with you guys. Nothing too serious, nothing too uh, pressing, and certainly not any information, but uh, just a reaction to a couple of things that I think are really positive in regards to our organization and, of course, the legacy of our great Kobe Bean Bryant. So that's what I got to say. My name is BDL44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.